Welcome back to another episode of the Renee Michelle Show. I'm so excited to be here with you pet parents today. On today's episode, we are making a cat scratcher. This cat scratcher is going to be the quickest craft. As you can see, I don't have my little co-star here. He's taking a nap. But I think that we're gonna be able to make this cat scratcher in the time that he's sleeping. And it's really easy. You only need these few items to get started. So I have a piece of wood, plank wood, that was just in the garage, and a paintbrush, a little bit of paint, a pair of scissors for our twine. Now you could get craftier, of course, with other items, but I think for me, I like to keep it really simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this twine and we're gonna tie it around the base of the wood. And we can do, you know, jump cuts. Tie it around the base of the wood and get yourself a really good knot. Tie it nice and tight. And so you just wanna tie a knot with the twine on the wood. And you can take this and have it be as high as you'd like or start as low as you would like. Maybe you wanna start really low and put a little vinyl print like, hey, kitty, kitty, something like that. But if you wanna start up higher, what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to paint the edges. So we're gonna start really high, but a nice knot right there and then just continuously loop it around the wood. We're about halfway done, and what I recommend is just incrementally pushing up to keep the weave nice and tight. And so as you're making your loops around the board, just squeeze them together, just like that. So now we have our entire board covered in the amount of twine that we want. And just like we did in the beginning, we're gonna tie another knot to end it. So take this and cut off where you wanna end it. and use the twine that's already on the board to help make this loop. And then knot it together. Nice and tight so that kitty doesn't take it apart. So then, You'll tie another knot at the end of your twine and tuck it under what's right there. So use the twine that's there and tuck the end under so that it's nice and hidden. So you have a knot here and you have a knot here. Just like that. So then at the end of your twine, preferably on the same side that your first knot is on, secure another knot. Perfect. 
perfect. Cut off your excess and tuck the knot under. Just roll it, just like that. So this is our front. This is what our kitty is gonna scratch on. And the really great thing about a piece like this is you can lay it down. If your kitty likes to be the horizontal scratcher, you can just lay it on your floor or you can prop it up for a vertical scratching post. Both horizontal and vertical options are really important for kitties to have so that they have a variety in their life. For our next step, we're gonna paint it. Unless you like the rustic look. <laughs> So I just have here some acrylic paint. It's a gold color. You can of course pick whatever color floats your goat. Very simply, we're just going to paint the top, whatever's showing. And again, we're keeping things really simple today, but you can Always, if you're really crafty, you could print out a fun saying or the name of your cat in like a vinyl, vinyl cutter, and you could put the name on the edges here. But you see, so quick, so quick, and we're taking the rustic look and we're just bringing it up a notch. And I'm gonna do my edges as well, just like that. So Penelope, my kitty, she has one of these at home and she's had it since she was a kitten and she absolutely adores it. I'm going to do a second layer on this piece right here, just like that. So there we have it, you guys, a cat scratcher in what? Under 10 minutes? By doing it this way, there's a few different things that we benefit from. A, you might have the supplies right there in your house already. B, you can control what comes into your house. So you know that there's not any excess chemicals on here. It's something that you already have. C, it costs a lot less and so, Again, the piece of wood, it doesn't have to be any certain size or shape. You can customize it, really. But a piece of reclaimed wood, the twine, which may be $5, and then some leftover paint. So for under $10, minimally, you can have yourself a custom cat scratcher, just like this, in the time that your baby naps. Penelope loves hers. She has one that she's been using for years. She is nearly 12 years old and it doesn't wear down as much as you think it would. As long as you can keep your knots secure on the back, then the front stays really usable for many years. And you can secure it again to a wall, to a cat tower or a cat tree, or you can leave it on the floor for them to have horizontal options. And it's really easy to pick up and move. So in case you move frequently or you know have a small space, again, you can change the size of it to meet your space. So there you have it, a cat scratcher in just a few minutes for a fairly reasonable price. Thanks for joining in for another episode of Renee Michelle Show and for this craft today. If you like this video, be sure to share it with a friend, subscribe for more great fun content, and follow us at My Pet Candy.